amazing about you know tiny flowers which includes weed flowers though neem is not weed per se it grows pretty much weed like in uh, uh, around here but you see the uh, it, it's for me it is enough i get out of them by just noticing how beautiful the flowers is yeah. and uh, on top this you know flower like this it's also en enormously fragrant and this is the season as you know we just had the tamil new year actually not just tamil new year new year across new year asia across so um that new year here we are supposed to eat uh, neem flowers okay. neem flowers um usually it's dried roasted and it also have a very smoky fragrance and it's added to rasam added to mm -hmm. kind of a pachri she was mentioning now manga pachri with mango mm -hmm. and uh, a, a friend of my oh, anupama you know no? anupama's mom had made with uh, something yeah by by itself by raw it is much it's much bitter when it gets dried and you roast it it's much easy to i mean much less bitter and, and rasam you can't taste it yeah well. it's uh, depending on how much you have <laughs> given <laughs> so usually it one to two spoon teaspoon you will not but if you put a little Uh, extra yes but um, but yes as a as a thumb rule if you dry this flower um, it's already reduced the bitterness if you dry dry this flower and roast it fry roast it mm. it's it's uh, bitterness and the goodness is there mm. uh, but uh, bitterness reduces if if you cannot take bitter but otherwise um, i have seen people put it in like uh, like uh, warm water mm. and then a few le few flowers so it doesn't become very right. bitter but at least you you know get the it has the almost the similar benefit as the leaves but um, for me the leave the flowers are very attractive to eat in the season just um, you know after roasting just add a little ghee mm. and uh, eat it with a spoon of rice as bitter very good and rare. similarly um, the neem uh, you know the neem leaves tender. which are already tender mm. absolutely red, reddish red in mm. color so those you just put it in a ghee and it, and in seconds it will go like a, like a uh, yes it will become like crisp mm -hmm. and that one you uh, eat it with again a spoon of rice with a little bit of nigella seed like uh, kala jeera and these are actually uh, in traditional meal these are actually eaten up front that your stomach is you know a con in this bitter thing you will need through the summer because your body is it's a time for detox your it helps in the detox and deworming and all that yeah. all that you have accumulated because we get um, our uh, winter is spring like no yeah. we tend to yeah, eat yeah. a lot you yeah. know uh, we put on a little weight and uh, the, all that has to kind of cleanse go prepare uh, go yeah. through a whole rejuvenation system until the next when mm. you know rain comes when we are still waiting for and the, after the rains again sprout 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 mm. of all kinds of things we again gorge and get a little fatter <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> so if we go with the season if our body allows us mm. uh, you can go a little bit fat and a little bit less and mm -hmm. this thing but the thing is um, what is what all these food traditional food kind of helps us is to keep up our metabolism right if if that is kind of maintained mm. because this is also the season to be fasting mm. you know the summer mm. uh, you why do you also want to fast because you want to give a rest to your mm. system you kind of cleanse what is there you basically it's a spring cleaning really good spring cleaning to your body except it's a summer cleaning <laughs> summer cleaning and preparation for the next bout and while you are doing that uh, it's a it's it's you have to still remain hydrated hmm. healthy hydrated is very important hydrated healthy and all prepared to take in the nutrients that you will be receiving the next next wonderful season wonderful yeah ciao ciao <laughs> thank you